hello welcome all welcome in another important video in our react js course i hope you all are doing great so here in this video we will see difference between state and props so for this video i am referring java point article and here they have mentioned all points which is different between states and props so it is kind of confusing topics especially for the beginners beginners sometimes found states and props are doing same thing but why they are different and what makes a state and props different so let's see this with an example uh, let me go inside our project and let's create another folder as usual let's give it a name s versus p dot js all right so here i have one normal component and let's quickly open it i add it this is our folder and inside of this folder let's create one component p.js cool so now this is our normal component and we will use this as a normal class component so let's try to create normal class component here so we have one component which is getting exported as a default so what if i keep its name let's say parent and we'll need to create another component let's say rcc like this and we don't need import here and now for this component we will name as a child here we will see difference between our state and props so let's declare one constructor because we know that in order to use states in class component we will need to use constructor and inside the constructor we declare state this dot state and let's say message is my state and i'm giving one message something like this okay so let's see what's the first difference between state and props so the first difference is props are read only while state change can be asynchronous so what does this mean is here i have one state and i can change this state value any time by simply triggering one event right so if i can use life cycle event of this class component so i can use component did mount something like this did mount and inside of this component did mount i can put this dot set state message uh, i want to change this message let's say be humble is my message so this state value will get changed as soon as this life cycle event will get triggered but if we try to do the same thing with props so here we have our child component and we need to call this child component inside our parent and if i try to pass something let's say message is equal to god is great and if i try to use this here i need to declare constructor first and let's use super and since we are accepting props inside this component so we'll need to add props okay same with our constructor just like this okay so with this way all props will be available in our component now i want to change or i want to modify whatever the props we have received so if i put if i put the same event component did mount and if i try to put this dot props dot message is equal to be humble okay now in order to see all this output we'll need to use this parent component inside of our main component which is index.js so let's comment this and import it import from
just like this okay and we'll need to use this component and pass it as a normal HTML tag okay so now this component will be available and as you can see our compilation successfully completed we'll need to open this localhost 300 inside our new tab let's open this and let me quickly if I open inspect element and see here we will get error and the error is related to the above occurred in child component and it is saying that message cannot assign read only property message so what does this mean is our properties or props which we are using inside our child component they are not changeable or you cannot change it or you cannot update it so if I comment this and run our com and run our project again so you can see error has gone so we can update states but we cannot update properties and that's what the first point says again the second point is props are immutable and states are immutable immutable means the things can be changed and immutable means things cannot be changed so the same thing what we have done and both the points first and second points are somewhat similar so they are indicating the same thing they are suggesting the same thing that you cannot change props but you can change state the second point says that props allow you to pass data from one component to another component as an argument okay so as you can see here we have state but if I want to access this state I cannot access this state from other component so state doesn't allows us to pass that state or to use it directly from other component you can pass that as a properties or as a props in simple words we can say states are not available in other components this stays inside the local scope and you cannot access it outside of that particular component and that's what the third point says states cannot be accessed by child components right the next point is props are used to communicate between components and that's again the fact because here you can see I want to send some message from parent component to child component and so there is only way as of now I have which is props so the only way I can communicate from child to parent or parent to child using props so that's what the fifth point says right then the sixth point is stateless component can have props but stateless component cannot have state now the stateless component are those component which doesn't declare state so if I comment this out now this is stateless component so if I comment this out and run our program again let me refresh this okay. so now this line will also be invalidated because we can, since there is no state we cannot update it right and so as for the sixth point stateless component can have props but stateless component cannot have state so now what does this mean is if I comment out the states inside our parent component and if I comment out all update methods which we have written so now this component which is our parent component will become stateless component and our child component is already stateless because we are not maintaining any state inside this component so stateless components are those in which we don't maintain any local state inside that component so as per the sixth point it says stateless component cannot have state so that's what the definition says but stateless component can have props so if I try to use this parent class in some other component and try to pass the properties and try to pass props through that component so I can access that easily so you don't need to have your component stateful if you want to pass properties that's what the sixth point suggesting us right seventh point says like props make component reusable that's again the fact because since the states are local we cannot share it in between multiple components so we cannot expect that using state itself will make our component available in other components 
okay so if you want to pass custom data so props is the only way to pass that data and that's the reason why props helps us make our component reusable eight point suggests that props are external and controlled by whatever the renderers the component okay and the eighth point suggests that props are external and can be con okay and the eighth point suggests that props are external and controlled by whatever renders the component so props are external because whenever we declare props we don't declare it inside the same component so here i'm trying to pass this message value to this child component but this message value is not inside of this component so that's why this message value is external for child component and that's what the seventh that's what the eighth point suggest that props are external and can be controlled by the value of message and value of props is completely under control of this parent class so that's what the eighth point is suggesting us so this is the basic difference between props and state if we summarize it we can say states are local and it can be mutable so we can change state but we cannot change properties on the other hand also props helps us to make our component well state doesn't help us to make our component reusable so that's the major difference between state and props i hope you have understood concept of props and state and why it is different than each other so i think that's it for this video thank you very much for watching see you in the next video bye